Hello guys and welcome to another ComfyUI video. Today we'll be looking at high res fix and second pass. In ComfyUI, the way I would like to build up this channel is by first introducing the basic concepts of ComfyUI and once we have those covered, things like control net, IP adapter and the basics on how to build an efficient workflow, we will go more in depth into more complex stuff like video and animation. Okay, as always, we will start from a new workflow and build our way up so that you guys can understand what every step of, of this workflow is doing. Cool. So let's delete this. And for this time, we will start off with a template. As you've seen in my previous videos, how to make templates, we will now start with basic 1.5 layout. So we have this going on, we can delete this node as we will be using the, the native resolution of 1.5 for this one. All we need is uh, a latent empty image here. And we will also connect this to anything everywhere so that we can use this empty latent throughout uh, our different workflows as we will be building comparison workflows to see how the different types of upscaling impact our image generation. So let's go with 512, 768. Let's make maybe a batch of two. So we have a little bit of variation. Already have a prompt ready for you guys. There we go. So now that we have this going, everything seems to be wired correctly. We can perhaps change this, lower the CG scale a little bit, and we will also start with a fixed seed in order to be able to compare what we're doing. So first, let's start with a normal workflow, see what that gives. Okay, so here we have our images. We will keep the first one. All right, so as you can see, like every 1.5 images, it has some flaws around the eyes and some misshaped hands and all of that good stuff. So how do we do an high-res high -res fix or a second pass in ComfyUI? So it's very simple. What we want to do is add a second case sampler and along the way also upscale our image. So, here we still have everything connected. If we would decode here and preview, we would have exactly the same image. And we want to have that, but we want to have that in better resolution. So what we can do is, for example, an, an, an upscale, which will upscale our image, but still keep it within the latent space. It's very memory efficient, so it will go very fast. And it does actually a very good job upscaling the image and it, it, it adds quite a bit of additional detail. So it's basically a, a very inexpensive way of doing an upscale. This might become important when you have more memory intensive workflows that require upscaling multiple frames than a latent upscale technique might be the, the way forward in order to have a workflow that can work at least at a decent speed. Okay, so now we have our second case sampler. We will utilize random seeds. Let's put 10. So we have a different seed from our first one. And we can now preview this new image. We'll put them next to each other, like so. And let's go with this one. I'll put them a little further so that we can scale them up. Slightly so. Why is it different? Okay. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you don't lower your denoise strength, you will basically create a new image. So what we created now is the same prompt, but with, with the seed number 11, and it gives us, of course, new images. So what we want to do is lower our denoising strength to 50 so that we keep most of the ori original while still allowing 
some uh, new noise to add new details. So let's see what that gives us. Normally we should have this image, but at, bed, at, at a better resolution, at a higher resolution and with more details. Let's see what it does. Right, so here we go. Okay, so as you can see, very close to the original, while much larger and much more detailed. Correct, so as you can see also from the face, it's much better than our original generation. But another way of doing this, and slightly more expensive, but it's also better in way of detail, is to use a pixel upscale. So in this case, what we would like to do is to first decode our image, right? So we decode the image, uh, which means that now we basically are at this step where we have this image and we have this type of quality. So what we want to do now that we have a pixel image is to upscale this. Now we can use upscale with model. I will use full hardy. So we load the model here, full hardy. You can use whatever model you'd like, like standard. I work a lot with full hardy or maybe something like ultra sharp is also very good. However, this model will upscale by four times and we only want two times. So what we can do is use the image scale by note and open this. So now we have two times instead of four. Correct. So now that we have this image, so we have an upscaled image, which is twice the size, but we still haven't given it a second pass. So we need a second case sampler. In order to use the case sampler, we need to encode our image back into the latent space, push our latent into our new case sampler, lower the denoise, which in this case is already done because I copied from our previous case sampler. And then we want to decode and let's check it out. Okay, so here are our results. I think you can clearly see how our image improved from our original generation all the way to our upscaled image with the second pass. And as you can see, there is also some differences of in, in terms of quality from the latent upscale to the pixel upscale. Okay, this was the video. I hope you like it. Like it, dislike it. Subscribe, unsubscribe. I'm out.